I'm Hamasin Olave, and this is the RSL Insider presented by AT&T. Oh, okay. right. What's up, Cornelia? Oh, How are you doing? I, that was, uh, that, you know this guy? Yes, I do. Yeah, good, you know? Welcome into this week's edition of the RSL Insider presented by AT&T. I'm not Hamas Nalave, but your host, John Kaluter. On this week's show, we'll catch up with goalkeeper Tim Melia, who brought back some hardware from his recent loan with Charleston Battery. But first, we'll catch up with head coach Jason Kreiss and defender Chris Winger, who are waxing poetic about Saturday's huge matchup here at Rio Tinto Stadium against the New York Red Bulls. Do you feel good to be home after that long trip you sense that the guys are you know excited to just kind of sleep in their own beds a little oh, yeah. bit oh yeah I mean, the training sessions this week have been great uh, and I think arguably you, you know you, you walk out there as a coach and you're not quite sure what's going to happen and you've been gone for so long and it's actually been a long time since we've had any real training sessions so uh, but I think the guys are extremely excited to be home and comfortable uh, in and around their family and friends and sleeping in their own beds and uh, really really geared up for this match do you feel like they're they're fresh enough given all the travel and the frequency of the games? Yeah. I know you've had a week off now. Yeah, but. you know, for me, there's, it's always about just the amount of days you have in between matches. If, if you have a week, I think no matter really kind of what you've done to yourself mm -hmm. the, the several weeks before that, if you have a full week to rest and recuperate and regenerate, I think that's enough. As far as New York goes, I mean, obviously they have the big the big strikers that everyone knows, but what about the team in general? They seem to have been pretty good this year. Yeah, it's, I think it's a really, really strong group. I think it's a group that uh, looks like they're enjoying their soccer right now. Um, I think that the whole group was re-energized, re re uh, again, by the addition of Henri and Marquez, and I think in particular on hell, uh, looks to me to be a brighter player um, since those guys have joined. So, yeah, it's, it's easy to talk about the, the, the Angels and the Henri's uh, of their team, but then I think they've got some other really, really nice players in Limp here. Uh, and Kanji will be playing this match, I would believe, because Richards uh, isn't available, and he's another guy that I think's playing really well. And uh, So, for me, they've got not just two really good attacking players, they've got at least four. Huge game, given the, the, and the, the streak's still going, and a big opponent, and yeah. back home finally. That's, it's it's massive, massive match for us. We're very, very excited about it. It's, Another game that, you know, once they made that signing with Henri and Marquez, it immediately became a game that we circled on our calendar and said we would love to, uh, to have a terrific showing. We're certain that we're going to have a great fan base out here Saturday night. Probably some people that have never seen a Real Salt Lake game, so it's another opportunity for us to win over some, some fans and people to, to come back and buy more tickets. Another big game and a series of big games. Talk about uh, just being able to play this one at home. You know, come yeah, off it's uh, training this week on the road. Yeah, it's, it's great for us, of course, to, to come back to Rio Tinto. I mean, we've had uh, you know a, a tough stretch of road games, and we got a few more coming up, especially next week in Seattle. But again, um, I know it's cliche, but I think we've done a good job so far of just kind of focusing on the task at hand and, and uh, the game that's in front of us and. Right now, that's New York, and we know they're going to be a tough challenge. Uh, both teams are missing a few guys, but um, it's going to be a great game nonetheless. New York is also in position for the playoffs, a uh, big game as far as positioning uh, for the Sporter Shield this weekend. And while that is a goal, um, you know, does that enter in the back of your mind that you can't catch LA for that top spot? Should yeah, for sure. I think, right? I think really there's, uh, it seems like there's five teams that really have a decent shot um, at at winning the Supporters' Shield, and that's definitely something that would be a nice feather in our cap. Um, you know, and we'd love to finish at first at the end of the year, not only to win that trophy, but also to put ourselves in a good position to have some home field advantage in the playoffs. I'm back from the Insider, and you might remember this guy, goalkeeper Tim Melia, back from his loan with the Charleston Batter, and a, a successful one of that. Welcome back, Tim. Thank you. Appreciate having you back in Utah, uh, and you come with hardware in tow as well. Uh, with uh, talk about the uh, the USL two uh, championship game. Uh, and quick aside, the battery uh, defeated Richmond Kickers two to one last weekend. Which Melia played a big role in that match. Talk about. Uh, just the range of emotions sound like a, an active affair. Uh, it was very active. We actually scored pretty early within the first 15 minutes, and we thought it was going to be a 
smooth sailing, and then one of our center backs got red carded in about the 28th minute and changed the whole game. We switched to a completely defensive mindset, and then we were just grinding it out, and the guys did really well to get a result against the odds. So setting the tone uh, for your uh, art or the MLS side, winning some hardware, bringing that back. Um, you had a pretty successful campaign on there, playing uh, roughly 20 games, uh, you know, represented well. Talk about your time uh, with the battery. Uh, the Charleston experience was a good one. I was down there to get games. Obviously here, as a goalkeeper, you need to get games. It's the most important aspect. And uh, Jason and Jeff and all the coaches did a good job of finding a place for me to get down there and play and get game experience and game ideas. And so uh, what do you take back from that experience uh, coming back here, helping Real wrap up the regular season and, and into the playoffs? Uh, I hope I can just do what I can in practice and just try to work my way up. And now I have a couple more games experience and playing in a final, I feel like, calms you down a lot in games as well. All right, well, congratulations and Thank welcome back. Much. And uh, we'll look forward to uh, having to get some more hardware here as oh, the uh, season progresses. <laughs> oh, but. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. And that will do it for this edition of the RSL Insider presented by AT&T. We thank you for joining us and ask you to remember this Saturday night here at Rio Tinto Stadium. Big matchup for ourselves. They take on Thierry Henry and company with New York Red Bulls. 7 o'clock kickoff here in Sandy. Tickets are going fast but still available. You can pick those up online at riotintostadium.com, over the phone at 801-727-2700, or in person here at the Rio Tinto Stadium box office starting at 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week.